Today we are going to defend the Helm's Deep against the forces of Isengard in BFME 1 on the patch 2.2 in a reworked campaign mission, which made it much, much harder than it was Helm's before. Helm's Deep, ancient fort and refuge, has sheltered the people of Rohan against countless enemies. This is the beautiful Helm's Deep, and I've been playing Helm's Deep Draw multiple times. Bar the gate and Sorry, Tudin. I want around. every man and strong lad able to bear arms to be ready for battle by night. We'll cover the causeway and gate from above. No army has ever breached the deeping wall or set foot inside the horn. They will break upon this fortress like water on a rock. Saruman's horde will pillage and burn. We've seen it before. Within these walls, we will outlast In these walls, we will outlast them. By order of the king, make Fire ready the for battle. So let's yeah. grab the money first. And what I wanted to see, I've, you know, played many, many times Helm's Deep Mission in multiple different mods, in multiple different patches, and the goal behind the project of the patch 2.22 campaign is to make it way more challenging. Uh, the thing is, it's just too easy, you know? <laughs> like, I, there, there is nothing as good as the campaign from BFME 1, but I had always the feeling and the opinion that it was just too easy. You could literally do it without ever moving your mouse. And we don't want that to happen. We didn't want that to happen. And for that reason, patch 2.22 will make it quite challenging. And, you know, you will see with your own eyes how much of a difference this is going to make. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. I know many of you guys already played the campaign and also the mission Helm's Deep. And I've also heard a lot of complaining about, you know, the difficulty of this mission. Um, and also hopefully in this game, in this video, I will be able to give you guys some tips and tricks to get you know, ahead and get successful without making it just too easy, you know? So we have the fellowship members. We can put them all together. Rohan heroes can stay together with the Rohirrim. We have a level 4 Rohirrim with the Night Shield or the Horseman Shield. Um, sorry, the voices are a bit too loud. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Yeah, you are a servant of the Secret Fire. <laughs> we know that. Okay, so the goal is to buy all the upgrades first. And Isengard is gonna come in in eight minutes. So the you know the first advice I can give to you guys is once you are prepared, once you build your defenses, make sure to save the progress, because there is a high chance <laughs> that you might fail for the first or second time, and it can be quite frustrating if you have to start from the beginning over and over again. Okay, be ready. let's level them up a little bit. These units. Okay, nice. So we don't need to buy banner on them. That's pretty good. And once every single upgrade is, you know, finished, we can demolish the armory and we are good to go. So what I recommend is make double archer range. One at the roof here and one at the bottom side. So, you know, hope for the best, but be prepared for the wars. Because there is a chance that you might not be able to hold the deeping wall, which is this wall here, for a long time. You know? Okay, the banner is almost finished. That is no orc horn. Send for the king. My kinsman come. That is no orc horn. Send for the king. My king man's kingsman come. So as you can see, Haldir is also added to the mission, which was not uh, in BFME one before. That's not a mod. It's actually a patch, which is mainly focusing on the multiplayer aspect to make it more balancing and also more fun, with avoiding lots of the known bugs from the game and make the gameplay a bit faster. Fast paced game. Open the gates and send for the king. Okay, no problem. So Haldir is going to be quite important. You always want to use the skirmish formation. Now the building can be demolished. And um, the one thing you need to understand is leadership doesn't work in this mission. It works right now, but once the Isengard army comes, how is this possible? I bring word from the Elven lands. Long ago, elves and men held alliance against darkness. We come to honor that allegiance. We come to honor that allegiance. Men once more. You are most welcome. So what I can do now, and what I like to do, is I want to make, you know, I want to make it like in the films. The Alvin, uh, you know, Archer is going to defend this area. We will have another wave of Alvin Archers around this area. And every single Yeoman Archer will be on the Deeping Ball, just to make it like in the films. Okay, Haldir, use the bone, please. Nice. In Legolas, you move. You don't want to, you know, keep them together because I will explain to you guys later on why. Okay, so flaming arrows now, that's good. You can keep recruiting more and more units. And you can also obviously recruit peasants in Rohirrim, but I want to make it just like in the films. 
Let's get them upgrades. And let's defend the refugees. Because they're important. They bring treasure. You know, they bring money and cash. And money can be always quite useful. Protect the refugees. Protect the refugees. Okay, first of all, make sure, make sure that your population is full. And then later on, we will upgrade them all. We have still a couple of minutes time. So we don't need to rush anything. You also don't want to forget about... You don't want to forget about your gate. Because they will also try, obviously, to break in the gate. And come inside the jeans. Okay, we defended this. That's good. The money is dropping. And we will also be able to control. And one thing I can tell you is make sure that you have at least, at, war, at bare minimum, one peasant. It's going to be important because peasants in this mission can repair the gate. When the gate is damaged from the ram later on. Okay, so let's pick up the draft, actually. Against Sauron. Okay, that's good. Okay, we have command points kept now. As you can see and tell. Um, you want to split them up a little bit. You don't want to be clumped in one single area. That's not good. So we can split them up like, like this. Haldir has also leadership, but only for the Elven warriors. So it doesn't apply on the Yeoman archers. Protect the refugees. I hey man, don't scream at me like that. I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay, we are command points kept, unfortunately. And what you can do, there is a shortcut. So when you click on one of the Elven warriors and you double tap E button, you can select all the elves on the entire map. So it's going to be way easier for us this way, you know, to give them upgrades. We should be able to win this. We have Theodian leadership, level 4 Ro Rohirrim. And also, it would be nice if you can keep the one Rohirrim alive for the entire mission. Okay, there is the money. That's good. Can you use Draft again? Without Draft, the peasants are even weaker than Orcs. So let's close the gate. And we also need to give those guys at least fire arrows. And also uh, this. We can also level up multiple times with, you know, uh, Legolas. But again, in the campaign missions, you can't get more than one or maximum two levels for each unit. That's not possible. Otherwise, your units would easily get level 10. And you guys know, <laughs> in the meantime, how impactful the levels are in this game, you know. The more levels you have, the stronger and power more powerful your units are going to become. And for that reason, it's limited. So you can't have more than one or maximum two levels. Okay, we have only one minute time. Okay, also give all of them fire arrows. That's pretty good. And they have also heavy armor. Yes, sir. Let's give them also fire. Oh, I didn't have the post here. Let's build a post -sangit. Okay, Eowyn. Nice. Okay, boys. They are coming. In about 40 seconds, let the fiesta begin. Do they have all fire arrows? Yes, sir. That's good. Now they have also the heavy armor. And now we can buy the banner. And money is not going to be a problem. Because as you can see, we have 1.4 times the resource multiplier. That means we get pretty much 40% faster money. And we have plenty of farms. As you can see, we have 4 farms, 5, 6, 7... It's nine farms, and money is not going to be a problem. That's why you should be at bare minimum building up double archer range. If not, even three. You can afford that. The forces of Isengard come. Isengard arrives. Make ready for battle. So it begins, boys. So it begins. As you can see, every single one of them has level 2 at bare minimum. They have also plenty of ladders, and that's one of the changes we have implemented into the patch 2.22, besides having stronger waves. But also the ladders are a bit more tricky now. You can't kill them anymore with your archers. I mean, you can, but it's gonna take you ages to do that. And for that reason, you need to focus them with your heroes. For example, the smite ability from Eowyn can one-shot them. The extra from Gimli can one-shot them. And you have also Legolas and Haldir, those ranged heroes, they have the chance to take them down quite fast. So you need to micro a bit. You can't just stand on top of the wall and hope for the best without moving your mouse. So it's a bit more interactive and requires much more micro and attention from the player. Oh, 
so it begins so what i what i like to do is i'm gonna give legolas number one and hydra number two and again we we want to keep them separated and the second those ladders are coming we want to focus them down extremely fast we want we don't want them give, you know we don't want them to have the chance to do anything so legolas you can keep shooting this one or start shooting this one and hydra you can start shooting this one please Okay, Legolas, now this one. And Hydra, this one. Oh, leathers here. Leathers. Kill this. Important, very important. Too many leathers. <laughs> Too many leathers. We, we can keep, uh, keep producing more units in the meantime. It's the one thing you want to always do. Keep producing more units, boys. Oh, I forgot about focusing down the ladders. There is one more. Okay. okay it's not the ideal situation, but it's okay. We can, you know, easily get more and more units on the field. Uh, Gimli can also be quite helpful. You want to be, you want to make sure that your units are not randomly dropping down or going down. You know, when there is a post on gate, uh, they want to fight. Uh, like, look at Gimli. Like, you want to go down <laughs> and you want to stop him. If also this guy, for the worst case scenario. Okay, now more ladders are coming. Oh my. Uh, these are a lot of ladders, boys. A lot of ladders. Um, um, <laughs> like three shotting. But there are obviously just too many of them. Aragorn, where is Aragorn? Let's use Elaine heal. The abilities are working here, by the way. So they are level 2 only. So you can, you know, fear them like this. No problem. Okay, let's use Cloud Break for the first time. And again, I will show show you that you can also kill them with Gimli. You see? Like, Gimli can also one-shot them. And what we can do is we can use the Death and Glory and go out and, uh, you know, trample them down a little bit. But don't lose the full battalion. That's very important. I even healed him. Because it's a level 4 battalion. Again, levels matter a lot in this game. Unfortunately, we are already losing this area. Oh, that. And that's what I'm talking about. Jump on top of the wall, Gimli. <laughs> that's what you can also do, by the way. You can jump on top of the wall. Boromi, don't die. Okay. We have also more elven warriors around this side. That's good. So I think they will enter this. There is nothing I can do. You can keep repairing this, please. And kill the crossbow man. They are so annoying. And more of them are coming. We still need to hold for 8 full minutes, boys. But again, keep making more units from the second. Aragorn, revive him. Uh, we are running out of money eventually. But it's okay. Oh my goodness. Please go out and kill this. Oh, I didn't build a post and get here, right? Need to really, 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 really kill this. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. But oh, it's really bad. So we need to actually keep retreating now. We need to go now to the top side. We can also close this gate. There is no gate here. So we gotta be careful. And we are losing lots of units, boys. Oh my goodness, we are kind of poor now. Uh, you see, it's much more difficult. I mean, obviously I misplayed. I forgot to build a posting it here. Otherwise, I would have gotten the chance to actually move out with the peasants and, you know, take down the ram. So, shouldn't lose my, you know, shouldn't lose, shouldn't have lost my git like that. I gotta be honest with you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, hold on, boom, boom. You guys go, please, to this spot. If we can stop from this area, we can keep making from this area all the time. Okay, now... Oh, misclick, sorry. We can maybe fight here a little bit, you know? 
That is my Boromir. Boromir has not the ability yet, or they are coming boys, that's a lot of them. Clawbreak is on cooldown. I think we can't really fight this here. But I have still my... Can you go up here? I have still my Rohirrim and my Rohan heroes. I want to really trample down those crossbowmen. They are kind of slaughtering our army. Like, there are just too many of them. I mean, for my defense, I didn't play this for a long time. But there are, they, they have also pikemen around, you know, that's really, really unfortunate. Okay, they are also, they are gonna break this too. Uh, Theodine, please. They are losing everything, boys. They are coming, and that's not the final wave yet. More of them are gonna come. We gotta trample. If even war riders. We keep losing stuff all the time. And as we are losing this area, what will what will end eventually happen is we're gonna lose all the farms and then we're gonna get poor because without farms you can't make any money, right? And we are even kinda poor right now. Okay, more of them are coming. That's good. Okay, we have also these two peasants for the worst case scenario. What I can do now is I can close this gate, right? And kind of gotta make sure it's... Hold on a second. Let's get them all the upgrades. There we go, nice. Heal up and again, keeping these units alive is actually essential. That's very important. For now we are defending kind of, but hey! Oh man! Just trample. Do we have glorious charge? No, it's on cooldown. BL, please don't lose him. They have ladders, but they have holy quackamole, boys. Do you see this? How many ballista they got? It's out of ballista. Mm. It's, it's looking not very really good. <laughs> but we need to only survive for like three minutes. They have also all banner, right? I don't need to give them bleeds, actually. It's so expensive, 350, and they will almost never fight. Men of Gondor. In melee fight, you know? They will always keep shooting from a long distance. We can level them up once again. This area is looking pretty strong, though. Like, we are quite nicely clumped. Okay. I don't think that's gonna break anytime soon, but again, I don't know about the Ballista. Like, how much devastation the Ballista can cause. We also we only need to hold for like three more minutes, and then we should be just fine. The peasants can hold this area no problem. They should be able to like two shot these uh, rams. Let me check. Yeah, the rams they don't stand a chance. This is no rebel of mine. These oryx. These are peasants of Rohan. They are, oh boys. Okay. Um, we gotta abort the mission here, by the way. Okay, let's go up, 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 up. up. Let's not lose, this, lo lose units for no reason. You see, even combos are coming. I mean, we were able to defend this area quite nicely, but I think I made a mistake and miscalculation. I should have just, like, focused down uh, the crossbow man. Like, you know, focusing down the... Look, this ballista, man. Oh, that's... We are losing a lot. We still need to survive for, like, two minutes. So I gotta make a move now. I gotta make a move, boys. Okay, go, go. We need to get these siege weapons down. Go, go, go. Look at them. Pikeman, crossbowman, level. They are also getting stronger, stronger in terms of levels. Kill this. King Theodin, look out. Okay. Do they have more ballista? Oh my, Eowyn, 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 don't! Oh, I, I would rather lose Eowyn instead of my Rohirrim. I had only one of them, man. It's so unfortunate. This guys are annoying. Okay, we have Cloudbreak for the... I'm gonna use Cloudbreak, actually. Oh, but in the meantime, look at this. 
They are losing this area completely. Tommy. They have one more, but I didn't see the ballista. Legolas can kill it though, right? Legolas, can you can you not shoot it? Yeah, Legolas can kill it. Yeah, that's good. Again, you want to make sure to focus down the siege weapons with your heroes and not anything else. Your normal units, they don't deal too much damage to them. Especially to the ladders. Uh, you know, your heroes can only your heroes can take them down. I can't even check this area because it hurts my eyes. They didn't, they didn't even boom this yet, you know? Where are the explosive mines, though? Oh, there they're coming. The explosive mines. Okay, we can make more units. We keep losing units from this spot, though. Look how many crossbowmen are coming. Alright, boys, it's Sam. It's time to call on Eomar's army. Theodin King stands alone. And, uh, boys, for the mission exclusively, we have Eoma with the To the King ability. To the King! And then, just like in the films, you love to see it, dude. That's only for this mission, by the way. Not in a, any other mission this ability exists, not in the skirmish games, not in, not in the multiplayer. Only in this map. Let's go! to the king look how many of them look how many of them holy guacamole look how many ladders too look how many ladders <laughs> this is the definition of fiesta oh i can't go in there look how many oh i lost legolas too i didn't pay attention how they kill my Legolas like that? Trample. The problem is on the land, I don't have leadership. And they have crazy amount of leadership. Look at them glowing, shining bright like a diamond. You see, they, this is like a glorious charge, but for like a minute. Like it is like a really long duration. Okay, we need to go in from this side. I can't really go in from this side. Oh my goodness, this game is not over yet. Aragorn, go. Gimli, go. You guys go inside, please. Oh, we lost everything here, right? We can't even build anything here. I can't really... This game is not over yet. It is like still a giant forest in front of my nose. Um... I wish Gandalf would be level 10, you know, if I gotta be honest, I think that would be kind of good if Gandalf would be level 10. Oh, I lost the, I lost the battalion. Uh, how long the cooldown? This is like a really long, low cooldown. So, you know what we can do? Hold on, hold on. I have an idea. I mean, they have no pikemen here, right? So I can just write them down, I believe. Oh, damn, I didn't pay attention. Imagine if I would be closer to the deeping wall. I'm just trampling down the pikemen. I don't care. I'm gonna build double well here for the for the recovery. Oh my! But Theodin King! I lost like almost every single one of my horse to the one pikeman. Theodin, you are you are not very smart. We gotta get Theodin back on the menu. We lost like the majority of our army, guys. Can you imagine that? We lost like literally the majority of our army, including Theodin King. Um, they, they are still coming. Look, the deeping wall. I mean, to be honest, if you wanna replay the films, I think that's a perfect situation to do that. You know, look at them glowing too. If you lose these three buildings, by the way, like this two and then this one, you lose the game. Legolas died again. Legolas, man. I... Now for Raf. Oh, it's on cooldown. I can't. <laughs> I take the speech back, guys. Please throw hit him. You need to give the whole ground stand so they don't keep running in randomly. I'm gonna use Cloud Break, actually. Like, I, I need, like, some to, uh, some some time to breathe, you know? And heal up a little bit. That's very important. And also, hopefully, I will get Theodin back on the menu. But it's gonna still take some time. 
or it's gonna be a juicy bond. Boom, sun on your face. We'll have to see it. They keep coming and look, they keep shooting. Where is Haldir? Haldir? Can you can you reach this Haldir? Look, Haldir is hurting it. Haldir, he only shot it once though, for whatever reason. Aragon is fighting. Okay, he's back on the menu. Okay, now for Raf, now for Ruin in the Red Dawn. So, I don't think it's text though. Uh, I'm gonna use the one from Elma first. I don't think you can use them at the same time, and they don't stack, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it stacks, let's try. <laughs> Double. Right now, right, Eolingas, death for Saruman's army. Okay, let's destroy the camp first, so we can. We need to make sure that they are not able to produce any more units anytime soon. The pikemen, they don't take damage from the trample. Gimli has died. What is happening out there? Try to describe it to you, or you want me to bring you a box? Okay, I, I think. Aragorn, what is killing you guys? Um, I mean, good thing. The only good thing is we have still money, right? That's pretty good. Please move on. Okay. I'm gonna use heal here. Rohan must stand. Um, look how many there there is. Like, not again. If you wouldn't be as bad as me, you can eventually hold this a little bit longer, and then these ladders are gonna come to your wall. But as your wall has been broken, they are unemployed. You know, they don't know what to do. They are jobless. Okay, we are pushing now with the elves from the other side. But look, our command points, dude. Like, we have lost so many. At the beginning, once we called Eoma's army, imagine how many, you know, remember how many units we had on the field. But now we are dropping a lot of command points. Because the pikemen, they are slaughtering us. Literally. I, I need to kind of avoid them. But there are just too many of them. I mean, we also have the scavenger. That's why we are getting money. Okay. I want to actually make sure to kill the siege wargs. This is my priority. Follow my lead. Okay. Emma can one shot this too. So basically, your hero abilities can deal crazy amount of damage to that, you see? My heal is on cooldowns. So I don't want to lose too many Rohirrim here. Okay, nice. Oh, there are so many of them. It's on cooldown. Right? It's also on cooldown. I need, I need Legolas army. Legolas, bring your... Okay, I need to make double well here. I need to recover a little bit. I don't want to lose too many units. My Aragorn is almost back up. That's good. Um, we can't recruit any more units because we have no command points. But we need to make sure to not lose this. Because that's the one thing I like about the Vivimi 1 campaign the most. It, there is like a connection between you and the units you have. From the beginning of the of the campaign and you can keep them alive you can give them names you know okay that's good this area looks pretty good you see they are even using war chant i mean they don't know what to do right they are coming from this area now because all my units are here Eowyn, Eowyn and aragon we can leave them on top of the wall for you know uh, 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 because arvin is not here but arvin doesn't know she can't be worried about Okay, now it's available. For the king! For the king! Okay, let's destroy this camp first. Okay, my units are coming from this area, that's good. You guys, actually, hold on. With haste. Just focus on the buildings. Kill the ladders, yeah. My, my arch heroes can do, can do this, no problem. We must defend our country. Riders of the 
Okay. Just like in the films, dude. Just like in the films. I like that. I really do like that. And guys, please let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the difficulty of this mission. And, you know, I'm not a beginner player. I think you know my skill level in this game. I know what I'm doing most of the time, at least. If I'm not just too rusty. Even I'm struggling, you know? I mean, to be to be fair, there is a there is a way of cheesing this and making it kind of easy. What you can do is you can, like, it, from the beginning of the mission, you can, you know, pretty much camp here on the spot. With all your units and all your army in one tiny spot. And give up this area completely, give up this area completely, and then just camp it out here on the spot. But, to be fair, that's kind of boring. And I don't like to play it in a boring way, you know? I want to have, like, a challenge. And trust me, if you play it in a regular way, in which you want to make sure to keep the deeping wall protected, you want to make sure to protect your gate, and then in the worst case scenario, retreat to the roof of Helm's Deep, then this mission is going to be quite tough and very challenging. For death and glory. For death and glory. Um, let us kill this. Alir, kill this. And Boromir, you kill this. And Gimli, you kill this. <laughs> okay. Um, you need to destroy every single one of the evil forces. So there is like a rule in order to win this mission. You need to destroy not only the buildings, but also the remaining units from the, from the AI to get the victorious screen. Okay. I think we need to just... Destroyed these. Let your He's destroyed. trying to shoot the Berserker, that's what's happening, yeah. Gimli, would you please take care of this of this one? What is left on the field? Oh, there is one more. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? I think that's the last remaining letter. Hopefully, it's gonna get us the victorious screen. Uh, sometimes it might be a little bit, you know, unlucky and like one of the units so you need to understand it's all of that is scripted right so they are the units you have seen coming they have like a timer but they are existing behind the map right um i think oh there is one more <laughs> dude there are just too many letters you know what i'm saying there are just too many letters that's the problem hope please Yes, sir. Elves will sing of this glorious day. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It, you know, I personally like this quite a lot. Um, because we have a new ability which was really tough to be added to this mission. The, to the king uh, from Elma. Just to make the impact of Elma's army when they are arriving a bit more greater and more, you know more amazing and then you have the the fact that you know it's gonna be like a replay of the films you know you can't protect the deeping wall infinitely that's not possible you can't like that's legit not possible and then you will have to retreat but you have like fighting from the minute one you need to micro a bit more with your heroes to take down the ladders if you want to make sure to protect your deeping wall you want to micro with your peasants to repair the gate to make sure that the gate is not br getting broken anytime soon so my, from you know, that's like the, the that's pretty much like my ideas were implemented into this one. Just because, um, how can I say? I want to have an interactive gameplay. I don't want to sit on one spot and make nothing. And my archer army kill ev kills everything that is coming anywhere close to my wall. And for that reason, we as a team, Dimek and Balindru, especially Balindru, who is the developer of this campaign wanted to make something unique, outstanding for the patch 2.2. We don't have a lot of knowledge yet in terms of scripting, but the good campaign is finished. You can download the patch 2.2 from the link in the description down below and give it a shot yourself. That's only one of the missions. Moria has been reworked. Lothlorien has been reworked. Uh, Amonhen, Minas Tirith, and also, of course, Black Gate, alongside with Helm's Deep. And we are also currently trying to implement some changes for the evil campaign, and hopefully by the end of this year, it's going to be finished. You know, it's a passion project. We are investing so much time into it, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. A good feedback is always nice, but if you have criticism, you can also let me know in the comment section down below, or you can join our Discord, 
and there is a feedback channel you can use that channel to communicate with us give us some ideas suggestions what can be implemented into the campaign what can be implemented into the patch to make it a bit more fun but keep in mind that we don't want to add 20 not new factions or 20 new units to the faction because again the focus of the patch 2.22 is a multiplayer base so we want to make sure that the gameplay is fun more balanced without changing too much of the essence and the essential part of the game if this makes sense for you guys anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will see you next time until then keep hitting like a track and as always stay beyond standards peace out guys